The rogue camp and the lighthouse region as a whole is a dangerous part of Tarkov. Many who enter are never seen again. Because of the danger, some individuals will pay top dollar for both items and information extracted from the location. I was approached by one such person, known only as the Mechanic. With his ties to the outside world, the Mechanic has access to much more information than the average person. According to his sources, the abandoned water treatment plant was once operated under Terror Group, a mysterious shadowy organization considered, in many ways, responsible for the entire conflict in the region of Tarkov as a whole. Virtually any and all information on the clandestine group is highly valuable and perhaps the facility kept undiscovered secrets. The job was simple on paper. Move into the region surrounding the lighthouse, locate the water treatment plant, and retrieve any information relevant to Terror Group. But I was left with an ominous warning. Prepare well. I hear there is unusually high activity in the area. Perhaps someone is guarding the territory against prying eyes. There was money in it for me, and it never hurts to be owed a favor in times like these. But as we all know, everything in Tarkov is easier said than done. For this operation, I need something capable of downing opponents at medium to long range, but it would also need to be reliable in close quarters, as the mission objective would force me into the tight rooms and hallways of buildings 1 and 2. As it turns out, I had a suitable weapon laying in my stash. An AKMS equipped with a Trihawk 3.5x scope, a laser, and a suppressor to keep my sound profile low. In addition to this, a grenade or two, an assortment of medical supplies, and protective equipment is always recommended. I was joined by my brother, who is still new to the game, but having an extra gun and someone to watch your back is a big asset. Anyways, with all the prep work done, it was time to begin the mission. My first time playing this map. Yeah, this will be... We're gonna have to probably fight our way there. This spawn is pretty crap for what we want to do. We began near the southern chalet, and the two of us were here for one purpose, so we bypassed the first house and continued north past the second one as well. We came up upon a ridge overlooking a small village built along a creek, and the area effectively splits the region in half, so we wanted to scout it out before crossing. Trying to scout this area out because we have to move. There's someone. I, I, you see him too? Yeah, I think I just saw that. I think it was. I think it's a scav. scav. He was moving to the right. Yeah. Behind the well. Yeah. It's kind of coming in our direction a little bit. This guy. He's, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go down to the right here. Wanting to spread out a bit, I moved farther down the slope. We had to move quickly if we were going to make it to the camp with enough time to complete the mission, so I prepared to spearhead our crossing through the area. Where are you? Yeah, just, just below the rock that I'm on. Okay. Is that Hold you on, out in the street? No. There's two out in the street. There's two out in the street. Okay. There's someone, there's someone really there's close there. to me right now, yeah. I got one. You got him. Nice. Still holding this though. I'm laying down. Okay. Holy shit, dude. I was With two PMCs confirmed dead, we held our position no, to listen for more. And after a few yeah, moments no, of no, silence, no, I pushed no, up no, to quickly loot my kill. Like, 
you know, made sure, but... The, the oh, scab's scab. alive. Yeah, yeah, he's shooting at me. I got hit. I'm fucked up. I can get him. Alright. Got him. I used nice, 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 nice. Land back down. Okay. I'm gonna get into a bush. I had forgotten about the scav, but luckily my brother was there to cover me. Now that I was wounded though, we wanted to move into a nearby house so that I could perform field surgery to remove the bullet lodged in my arm. If you want to stay over by the bodies, that almost might be better. Have us a little yeah, bit yeah. spread out. Just stay like hidden in a bush or something like that, you know? There's been this little wood cabin out front. Yeah, you can do that. If you if you feel like it's well hidden and safe. Okay, and I'll just I'll stay right here for Okay. My condition was now stable, and we were still alone, so our next course of action was to strip our kills of any useful gear. In the end, we decided to reset as we had burned precious time and a viable extraction point was nearby. So we took our loot and returned home. Crazy, like, loot. Like, I'm not full or anything like that, but I have a nice gun. You got a nice well, gun. I, I only got a gun, but it's good yeah. enough. I mean, hey, gun and a dog tag and a, and a win first time on the map. Yeah. We'll take that. After unloading a few items and restocking supplies, we ventured back into the lighthouse region. Unfortunately, we had the same spawn as before, so we were basically forced down the same path as the previous raid. We did manage to scoop up a few valuable items from the first chalet, but things took a turn for the worst when we became pinned between some large rocks. Oh, Stop. I just got shot at. Yeah, run, run, run. Forward. Holy shit. Just barely made it into the rock, yeah. Okay. No, 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 Fuck, I might be dead. No, no, no. I'm dead. I'm somehow alive. I've got someone on me. I'm dead. Our demise was untimely, but it didn't discourage us from the mission, so we re-equipped ourselves for another outing. This time, I decided to bring in an ADAR. You can pause here for the build. Luck was not on our side with the spawns, as we wound up as far from the rogue camp as possible, so we decided to grab a package for therapist and attempt to approach the camp from the ocean. Some people in the past have wanted more context during the montage sections of these videos, so I'm going to try adding a bit of text in the top right to explain what's going on, hopefully without getting in the way. Let me know what you think of the change, and anyways, the two of us were ready to go, so we jumped back in. With Therapist's job completed successfully, we had to turn our sights back to the water treatment plant itself. I think at this point we were both ready to fully commit to making it in regardless of what we ran into along the way. Because I like to swap my kits around to keep things fresh, I exchanged my ADAR out for an RFB. Equipped with a Bravo scope, PK-06 reflex, and a foregrip, this weapon would excel at medium to long range combat, but I couldn't attach a laser to it and I was unsuppressed, which would likely bring more danger to us. Once the two of us finished gearing up, we departed for what would turn into the longest raid of the night so far. Our raid began in a much more optimal position, and this time we wouldn't have to cross the dangerous chalets, so we got moving right away. We traversed the hills and passed a minefield which brought us to a convenient overlook that we could use to scout the area before moving down into the camp.
Oh, I think I see a PMC out there. Out on one of the buildings. Not a good sign. I took a few moments to survey the area while my brother covered our backs, but I had no clear shots on the rogues, and so the two of us agreed to move down into the compound. We found a break in the wall and rushed into building two so that we could secure the area and begin searching for intel. We're gonna try and make it inside this building down here. It seemed there was no immediate threat, and I noticed a door I could unlock, so we popped it open to take a peek inside. Okay. I'm unlocking this door. This is something. This is the storage room. You can come in and loot. Uh, I just heard a rogue. I think they know we're here. Moving back out. There wasn't much to loot, but something did catch my eye once I had moved back into the main room. One of our things... There's someone in here, I think. Thought I saw a flashlight, I don't know. Yeah. Oh god. Are you looking up? Fuck. Other end of this room. We had an unknown threat in the building, and it was likely a PMC, so we had to play this very carefully. around outside. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah. If you want to hold that side, I'll keep holding the front. You hold the front? Yeah. There's someone running close. Bush is out left. Footsteps were all around us, and we couldn't make much sense of the audio, so I wanted to move into a more defensible position. Hopefully we would find something worth bringing to Mechanic on the way. Yeah. Come forward with me. Well, the issue is I can't tell what's a PMC and what's a rogue, because there are rogues above us and all around us, and they're, they have the same voices as USEX because they are USEC PMC. Yeah. Scav down. Jesus, okay. We gotta get upstairs. I think our thing is over here. Oh, yeah, okay, I found one thing. It's in this office over here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's right, it's in the little basket, or like box thing right next to the computer monitor. Went to the far side office. With one quest item in hand, I moved to the other office, hoping to find some relative safety so we could gather ourselves before making our next move. Come to this far side office with me. I'm in one of the side rooms right now. In terms of the mission objective, there was nothing left for us here. We'd have to make our way across the camp to building one, but to do that safely, we'd need to clear the roof of machine gunners and snipers. Oh. We need to get to another building, basically. We have to move out of this building into a different building. Um, I say, let's take a painkiller and go to the roof. 
We're gonna have to fight when we get up there, though. What? 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 Put stuff to the side. Like the side that we came in? Yeah. Okay. That could be the outside stairs maybe, here. Maybe they could be. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, could park them up. The doors open. Just so okay. You know. I'm. He's down there. Down there. Fuck up. Got him. Okay. I'm, re I'm reloading. Are you healing? Yeah, I forgot meds apparently again. I have meds. Like I, I just I'm good. I have backup meds. I just didn't bring like meds that I have bound to keys, you know. I'm watching the door. Okay. That was a real PMC right there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do surgery. I took a propital, uh, but I'm gonna do surgery back here. I also need to find the magazine that I dropped in that mess because I only have one good mag left. I healed up and recovered my spare magazine, but now we had more company. We had heard lots of movement nearby, but it was extremely difficult to confidently pinpoint their location. They're down outside, like the entrance that we came in. Yeah. I'm thinking I could push inside to that entrance if you wanna, want, like, yeah, flank outside, but not yet, not yet. Hold on. They're moving. Coming up, I think. Where's a different guy? I don't know. He's coming. Can't tell. He's, is he inside now? Or is he just rolling on the outside? <laughs> really hard to say. I think he's probably on the outside. I'm gonna go close the office, or like the door that we yeah. came through. You loot your guy, and then we're gonna get it the fuck out of here. Or, well, we're gonna not get the fuck out of here, but we're gonna, like, keep working on our shit. Yeah. My brother looted his PMC, but there was still lots of activity in the area, and we couldn't safely move without clearing the building and the roof. Are two of them? Okay. Can't tell. You good? I'm fine. Okay. You didn't open that, right? No. Okay, there's a player scout the way we came. Like in this hallway. Keep holding your door. I think we're getting surrounded right now. I'm gonna make sure I'm on full auto. Yeah. Scab is looting right now. I don't know where he's at. I got him. Good. Yeah, he's dead. I'm clearing this again. Yeah. Just to be safe. Okay. I'm looting mine. With one more threat neutralized, we each continued looting, but there was almost constant interruption, so we had to grab what we could in between holding angles. More running. Outside, I think. Dude, the audio is so wacky. I know. Oh. He's coming. Yeah, yeah. My way. Got him. He's dead. Good, 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 good. Okay. Close your door and we'll finish looting. 
Oh, my side. Maybe. Might be outside, I'm not sure. I close my door still? Yeah, close your door. Okay, it's closed. Guy I killed with a scav. Yeah. We have another player scav above us right now. How's your food and water doing? Not great. You can have the apple juice. Okay. Is that your side? Not sure. I don't think so because it doesn't sound like metal. No, I mean, I have to hear the metal footsteps first before you come to the door. Uh, I shot. It's good. It's fucked up. Yeah. I got him. Yeah. There's still another one though. The place was crawling with scavs, but we managed to wrap up our looting. At this point, we were running low on both time and food and water, so we decided to abandon the mission for now and attempt extraction with everything we had gathered so far. Okay, we're gonna have to just leave. We're not finishing our quest to this race. That's fine. Shit got hairy in here. Just gonna go for it. Going back out the way we came. I fucked that up. The plan was to take the vehicle extract east of the compound, but there was no guarantee it was still there. Try to look back down the road. I don't see anyone right now. I don't see the VX either. Yeah, there's, there's no VX. We have to go to the train, so it's a ways. Seeing as the vehicle exit wasn't an option, we had to make a move for the armored train. But we didn't have much time, and there was a chance we'd end up trapped, as the northern checkpoint wasn't an option for us. We bypassed the wall at the main gate and had reached the train, but there could easily be others here contesting the exit. Now we just hope and pray that there's no one on board. I'll peek, or I'll take the first peek, I guess. Yeah. I didn't see anyone. Alrighty, well, now we hold doors? Yep. Luckily, the train was empty, and after only a few moments, it departed, and the first half of our goal was complete. So, we had managed to obtain an item of interest for Mechanic, but we were still only halfway done. We decided to call it a night, though, so the rest of our adventure would have to wait for now. Anyways, I'd like to give a massive shout out and thank you to these refined gentlemen whose names are on screen, as without them, the opening cinematic would not have been possible. So again, thank you guys so much. This is only the first part of my Rogue Camp adventures, and the next installment should be out within 24 hours of when this goes live. You can also check the video description or the pinned comment for a link to the next part, assuming that the 24 hour window has passed. Next, I'd just like to say thank you so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this, and it means a lot that you took the time to watch it. And down below, there is a link to my Discord server if you want to hang out or find people to play Tarkov with. And there is also a link to my Patreon page if you'd like to help support this channel so that I can spend more time making these videos. I think that's about all from me, though, so look out for that next video. And again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to take care of yourself and have a good night.